heart is just some feeling. If you wanna leave, I'm with it. Hello and welcome to another edition of Stobart Model Reviews. In this edition I'm going to review my latest model. Let's move the camera because it's a big box. A Stobart Biomass truck. It cost me $76.99 from a model shop in Nottingham. And for this review it's not going to be as detailed as others I'm afraid people because I'm going to leave it in the box. But I'm going to open the box for you. We're looking at the box, it's nicely presented. You've got Corgi Special Edition. You've got a nice big picture of what the model looks like in the box. And it says Scan your art, rear tag, moving floor trailer, Eddie Stobart Biomass, Carlisle. And it's a 150 scale die cast model. <clears throat> and it's got loads of symbols here of what is actually on the model. I think somewhere on the box it actually shows you what they are. We'll get to that in a minute. Also in the box we get a little card, so it says, telling us about the company and the model itself. We'll come to that in a minute. And on the side of the box, as I said, it's a Corgi model CC13756. Scan your art, rear tag. Moving floor trailer, Eddie Stobart, Biomass, Carlisle. Let's open the box for us. There's the mirrors, which I'll just put to one side. And here's the card, before we get to the model. On the back of here, it tells you about the Eddie Stobart themselves. Uh, in, nine, in the 1970s, Eddie Stobart built its high-profile brand on the courtesy of its drivers, the quality of its fleet and its exceptional service. These benchmark standards remain intact, but also Stobart also understands the cu customer service, employment practices and environmental challenges that face modern businesses today. Over the last few years, the group has evolved beyond its position as an independent road transport and logistics business to a leading UK provider of multinational transport and logistics services. In spring 2010, saw Stobart Group PLC break new ground by taking control with A.W. Jenkins Forest Products Limited, UK's leading supplier of biomass fuels. The combination of the two companies brought the creation of Stobart Biomass Products Limited, which specialises in sourcing sustainable biomass primary waste wood for the new generation of minimum carbon power plants. Uh, Stobart now operates over 60 moving floor trailers of which the Scanny R series with tagged axle is ideally suited. And that's a bit about the company. And that's something I didn't know that they'd actually bought another company out for it. I thought they'd just doing it by themselves. Now I'm just onto the model now. And it is exceptionally detailed. <clears throat> like I said, I'm not actually going to take it out the box. This is the mo the review that we're going to get today, unfortunately. I know a lot of you that are becoming fans of my show here would like to see a proper review of this. But I just don't want to detract any more value out of the product by taking it out the box. So, as a little treat for you, I'm going to do a little bit more of an update for you about what's happening in the room. Alright, so as far as we can see round into the front there, it is well, really well detailed. Can't see the name for that though on the front, but on the side here, it's just say in the corner here. Uh, ooh. Carrie Louise, I think that says. H8219, fleet number for that. And on the top there you've got stobartgroup.com, which is the new website, which I was saying in the last edition, there's not many models that have that address on it now, because that is the new one. And you've got a little hole there for 
where the mirrors go, and another one there. Uh, great, real great detailing of the door and everything, and you got real quality detailing of the um, cab wrapping on this model, unlike other models that you get. And you got detailing the steps, detailing the lights, you even got the green speck in the middle of the wheels. Some steps there that lead up into the back for there. And you've got your ladders and that on the trailer. And I don't know if the camera can pick that up. You've got the skylight on top of the cab. Moving along to the trailer. You've got your green uh, tarpaulin cover. Which they represent the straps. And it's a Stobart biomass. With the biomass little logo on at the eye. Supply and renewable energy with the three red lines, which is coming part of their trademark now. And unlike other Stobart models, where it's got thick red, um, yeah, to stop cars going under there, you've just got a simple red bit of metal like that with three bits of metal holding it, and which has got the hashing in it. And then just there, you've got the legs for the trailer as well. And you've got great detailing on the wheels. Oh, every single nut and cranny on there. I don't know if the camera will pick that up. It's detailed. You've got the green spoke in the middle. Got, know, just notice you've got mud flaps on the cab here. And some lights. And registration PX60CZL. So if you look that up in uh, spotter books, you'll probably get the right name because I don't think I told you the right name there. And yeah, more mud flaps just there, so that must be one of the features. And you can just see, I think, yeah, just about see the back where it says Stobart Biomass and website again. I'm sorry this is not, as I said, a detailed review this time, but. It's a quality model here. Right onto the back of the box, instead of the other side of the model. Uh, we've got a bit more about what the uh, Corgi Collector Club is. And the Hawley is renowned logo. And you can actually follow them on Facebook and Twitter. Uh, this is what the uh, features mean on the box. Uh, you've got... Well, these are on for all the models. So the ones we've got on this model are mud flaps, which is that one. Visor mirror, which is that one. Aerials, which is that one. Uh, scan your visor plug-in lights, which is that one. And based in Europe. I would just put based in UK on that as well if I was designing this. And the other um, key f feature icons you can get in other models are low light bar, um, high light bar, front bumper bar, rear light bar, side light bars, aircon unit, skirt light bars single spotlights, vinyl curtain effect, side pipes and checker plating and then you've got England, Wales, Scotland, Northern Ireland, Ireland and UK of course as it says here Corgi, a Hornby product designed in the UK and you've got no longer the Leicester address, it's uh, now made in Margate, Kent uh, back to the model though so the model is just outstandingly detailed. I really can't fault it. But I mean, facing me, the, if I took it out of the box, there'd probably be a huge like scratch or something on the other side. But I'm just not taking it out of the box. It was never in. It was in the box when I bought it. It's never been out. All I've done is took the lid off it. I'm not going to. Uh, devalue it anymore by opening the box. Right, that was a, well, not a long, long um, review, but 
I'll just uh, treat you now to a little look round my room. Right, that bit of the room is as it is, my TV studio, of course, which you recognise. Uh, moving up a bit, my TV's been moved there. And I've got all the series of trucks and trailers that you can get on DVD. Wonder is hidden around the corner. Not really changed much there apart from moving stuff to put the TV in. And a lot of the stuff that was on that shelf has now gone there. Above uh, the model. There's my mor uh, picture of me and Edward Stobart. And uh, just stacked up here we've got uh, Atlas models. The Atlas and Border and the AEG six wheel tipper on top of the old magazine which I found in um, a truck stop uh, years ago when uh, Stobart got sold and well the model's not really changed but I'm going to be adding a bit more detailing onto the depot itself putting perhaps um, a bit of an out bit there and a bit of an out bit there on the edge and probably cover that comes so far out just to give you a bit more detailing down here it's not really changed much apart from trucks change, change around a little bit, they're still in the same place, it's just change around different order and That end there though is still work in progress. Still nothing being put down there. Uh, funds aren't allowing me at the moment. I did have some money, but I thought I'd treat myself to that model there that we just reviewed, and the model in there, which I'm going to review if I can. Uh, if I well, if I like to move the stuff, but basically the same as that model there. Just a different maker. That cost me eighteen ninety five from the same shop. So that was a bargain as well. Which is a lot cheaper than what some of these places are for getting stuff. As you might have noticed there's um new pictures and that over there. Let's move the picture back there we go. And move some of the other pictures from over here because I've got filled all my shelves up now so I've had to make some space for some more shelving which I want to be putting up at some point when I've got time bit of a mess of the wall I know now, I don't know if you've noticed it on my start up for this video but these trucks down here that one right there on the left for you it looks like it's been beat up and that's because it has I've smashed it up with a hammer I actually bought that truck off e no not eBay uh, Facebook uh, I think it was James Hurst or something I bought it off I uh, bought a big pack of models off of him now uh, that one was uh, a little bit damaged to start with so I thought I'll smash that one up shove it in my maintenance yard it's been in a truck accident it just adds to the detailing Right, and then onto these shelves. Not really changed much. But a slight move round, put some uh, more trucks on and stuff. And I've got this now. One in a box of my steerboat to uh, maintenance yard. Because that one uh, is old, it's fallen to bits, I've had to modernise it a bit. So I thought I'll get another one that's unmade. And that one will be worth quite a bit, although I have had to add a bit of tape to it because the box was open. But so the box is slightly worn on the corners, one side is slightly open. So might attract a little bit of value, but it'd still be worth a lot because it's in its original box and everything. And that concludes this edition in the model reviews. Um, I hope you've enjoyed a little 
more of an update to my room and next time I promise we'll have a better model to review even if it's in the box again it doesn't matter but until next time and after I go to Auto Carnet at Auton Park Nottingham I'll be back with another review thank you for watching and don't forget to like us on Facebook so it's James Bonito 8 Productions dash YouTube thank you